Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a problem that even I encounter out in the field as a paramedic. And I'm sure other paramedics and EMTs encounter this as well. And that is problems keeping your O2 set up on your patients. So a patient, a respiratory patient, a septic patient, a just overall poor perfusing patient might have low oxygen saturations. And no matter what you try, the sat won't come up. Now, again, this has happened to all of us. And it's very frustrating when you're out in the field and you're trying different things and the sats just won't come up. So what I'm going to do today is demonstrate to you guys the two ways, the only two ways that you can increase a patient's oxygen saturations. The first one is increase the amount of oxygen that they're getting. Now, this comes twofold. You can first increase the liter flow. So if your patient is, say, on 10 liters and still setting low, try 15. If your patient is at 2 liters, try 4 or 6. Now, if that increases oxygen saturations, great. You've solved the problem. Fabulous. If it doesn't, maybe you're on a patient like a trach patient who has a Venturi mask, who gives a specific percentage of oxygen, right? We breathe in 21% oxygen. However, a oxygen tank gives 100% of oxygen. But with certain masks, like the Venturi mask, you can dictate 20, 40, 60% oxygen to that patient. If that's the case, then you might need to increase the percentage of oxygen giving to that patient. The same goes to your patient on a ventilator. You can also do percentages of oxygen with a vent. So say your patient is on 85% oxygen, still satting low, bring them up into the 90s or 100% oxygen. Now, that's it for oxygen. That If that ship has sailed and you've done everything that you can with oxygen, you have to think the second way of increasing oxygenation, and that is PEEP. PEEP is defined as positive end expiratory pressure, or the amount of pressure left within the lungs at the end of exhalation. PEEP is a great tool to use for oxygenation. And again, in conjunction with increasing oxygen, you can really see a spike a positive spike in oxygen saturations when you give PEEP alongside good amounts of oxygen. What does PEEP do? Again, you have a natural pressure inside your lungs every time you breathe out. This is how your alveoli stay open when you stop breathing or when you complete one breath, I should say. Now, what'll happen is you increase this pressure increasing the size of those alveoli, ultimately increasing the surface area of those alveoli and increasing the ability for better oxygen diffusion through those alveoli into the capillary beds, increasing oxygen saturations. So you might say, well, Mike, how do we actually get PEEP? Well, there's two different ways that we can increase PEEP. First, we can give them positive pressure ventilations via a bag valve mask that either has a built-in PEEP valve or a secondary attached PEEP valve. This way we can increase the PEEP, say to six or seven, all the way up to 10, 12, 15. Now granted, I wouldn't recommend going that high, but if your patient needs it, that's what you need to do. Typically, I will start at a PEEP of about seven, seven and a half, and slightly increase it in increments of one from there. Again, being very careful not to increase it because, again, you're increasing the pressure and the size of these alveoli. It's easy to cause barotrauma inside those lung tissues. Now, if you don't want to use a bag valve mask, you can also use CPAP. CPAP is more or less a continuous PEEP, and there is a flow rate on the CPAPs, most EMS CPAPs, that you can dial in the pressure that you want the CPAP to run at. 
And this is acting like that peep just in a continuous fashion, helping to open up and increase the surface area of those alveoli. Inevitably, guys, you're going to run into that patient that has decreased oxygen saturations that just won't come up. So make sure to try increasing their oxygen or trying PEEP with a PEEP valve or CPAP and see how well those oxygen saturations come up for you. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out this video right here for everything on respiratory meds from albuterol to steroids and beyond. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.